Hi, welcome back at the half on the Comcast Network. I'm Lou Tilly, and now joined by one of the Souls bevy of owners, one of the best for a long time, Cosmo Denicola. Good to see you, Cos. Well, I love that, and I love the word bevy. I'm, I'm one of bevy, I guess. Well, we got a bevy. A I mean, you know, between uh, uh, Jaws and now Dick Vermeil, and, and talk about that and how your company, how the Soul is evolving, and, and what are the next right. steps going forward, Cos? It's really amazing, you know, when you think about our ownership group. It is one of the best ownership groups in all of professional sports, yeah. not just the Arena Football League. You think right. about, you walk into a locker room and you have two players with uh, Super Bowl rings, you got an NFL Super Bowl winning coach, and you got Ron Jaworski, an NFL Player of the Year MVP and right. Super Bowl participant. It just makes for an exciting uh, team, and, and you have a lot of experience that helps translate to on the field, and I think helps the product that we have and makes it a winning product. All right, let's talk about that. Because for you guys and where you've been and where you want to go, it's all about a championship. You're 10 and three, you're in good shape in this game, maybe go to 11 and three, but tell me about the playoff and how it's stacked this year. It's a little different, right? Well, my, my philosophy is a little different. People talk about we're in good shape. You know, we're not in this business to win games. We're not in this business to win a lot of games. We're in this business to win all of the games. If you win every game, you win the championship and it's eluded us for the last two opportunities we've had to win it. But this year, there's a new alignment. And the way it works out now, you win the conference championship by virtue of being the number one seed. So we have three more games. If we win out, we will be the number one seed and be the conference champions by virtue of having beaten Orlando two times. Got it. And we'll have that game for you right here on the Comcast Network. And then the first playoff game, and maybe the second one, will be played right here at the PPL Center. Let's talk about the first half, Cos. 41-27, you lead the Cleveland uh, Gladiators, and your offense has been, and I mean this, perfect. Dan Rodabaugh has completed every pass, and you completed every drive for a touchdown. Dan is very methodical, he's very focused, he's staying within himself, he's not overthinking it, and he's getting a lot of protection from an amazing offensive line. Richardson with three more rushing touchdowns, so you have real balance in your attack. Well, I love the fact that they have uh, a lot of rushing uh, touchdowns today, but Dan was approaching a record for the number of uh, touchdown passes, and I wish he would have had an opportunity to do that, but there's still a second half. But perfect cause, not a single incompletion on Dan's throws. And by the way, the Nelson kid, who was a linebacker when we last saw him, has thrown the ball pretty well for Cleveland as well. But the balls that Dan have thrown, no one can catch them but your receivers. That's where they're in the right spot. Like you said, he's been near perfect, but going back to the opponent's uh, quarterback, one of the things that's been really exciting about the AFL this year is that a lot of the number two quarterbacks have really stepped up their yeah. game. And I think that adds to uh, the product on the field and makes the playoffs very dangerous because you have some young, hot quarterbacks that are really, you know, moving forward. And listen, Kaz, 208 passing yards for Dan on just 10 completions. That's a pretty good average right there. Absolutely, and one of the nice things about Dan's development this year is that soft touch he has on that long pass. And that was something that was missing in the past. Cosmo Dinicola, part of the great Soul Ownership Group. Good luck tonight. Good luck the rest of the way. I'm loving Allentown. I'll see you at Chickie and Pete's later. Chickie uh, and Pete's. You know what? That's what makes it feel Pizza like Rocky. home. We even have a Chickie and Pete's in Allentown. Beautiful. And we'll be back to the PPL Center with the second half right after this on the Comcast Network.